All right, hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, staying healthy, staying safe, all that good stuff. Today, we are gonna be working on charcuterie boards. So basically, not working on charcuterie boards, but concentrating more on the sanding, the finish process. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much depth. There's a thousand videos, if not a million of them, that show finish on them, but these are already cut out shaped how I want them. They're live edge maple. I've got some of these cracks filled in with some epoxy. I'm going to start the sanding process. We're going to get them oiled up and I'm going to I'm going to show you how I do it. So there's a million ways to do it. Um, some right, some wrong. Don't know, don't care. But this is how I do it. So I've got three of them here. I think we're going to concentrate on this middle one right here. And uh, do it to it. So um, I'm going to get set up here. I'm probably going to start off. I'm going to round the edges over with a quarter inch round over bit. That's just going to soften up all the edges. Nicer to the touch. So, and then uh, we'll get them all oiled up. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Or it's what we're going to do. Hope you guys stick around because they're going to be awesome. Anyway, hey, and I just want to say these are great beginner projects, great gifts, easy to make. You can make them out of literally anything, any shape, any design, preferably a hardwood, a maple, a walnut, a cherry even. So any anything really, they're easy to make. They sell really good and great gifts. So people love these. So anyway, I'm going to get set up. We'll get going. I'm going to start off rounding the edges on them. Like I said, we'll probably concentrate on this one right here for the video, but I'm going to be doing all three. So stick around. Here we go. All right, before I get going on the round over with the router on this one, I've got some 80 grit on my palm sander. I'm going to go ahead and knock this resin down a little bit on there. So. When you're doing this, air protection, protect the airbags, and get some safety glasses on. So, yep, take care of yourself. Again, that was the quarter inch round over bit. All you want to do is just soften these edges up. Um, we'll do that to all three of these. Don't do your live edge. You want to leave that live edge natural. We'll, we'll sand that sharp edge off and get rid of that. But there you go, man. It's coming along. Okay, we've got everything rounded off. Looks really good. So we'll continue. I'll uh, hit these edges with some 80 grit. And then we'll sand all the way up to 220, and then we'll be back. So, anyway. Also, another thing I like to do is when I'm done with the palm sander with a certain grit, I just like going back over the board. That'll be something like this. You know, just kind of hit those, those flat spots on those rounded areas. So, 
anyway, I'll do that through the whole process as well. So we'll be back. All right, we've got it branded, and now the most important step. What we're gonna do is we need to pop the grain. And what that means is basically just soak the wood, let it dry back out, and sand it back. What that does, it pops the grain. So whenever you wash this board, wipe it down or whatever, you're left with a nice finish. It's not, the grain's not raised. It's uh, nice and smooth. So I usually do it twice. So just with a spray bottle, just uh, pop that grain, get it everywhere. Plus it kind of gives you an idea of your, your finish that what it's going to look like. So anyway, we'll let that dry. Sand that back. I usually go with a higher grid. I left off at 180, so I'll probably start at 220. After that, do it again and uh, sand it back with 320. Then we're ready for oil. So, all right, here we are. You've cut out your cutting your charcuterie board. You've sanded it. You've water popped it. You sanded it again. Branded it. Now for the best part. If you guys can see that this is Howard uh, cutting board oil and we will apply maybe a coat or two of that and then finish it off with the butcher block conditioner um, all food safe great stuff you can use just regular mineral mineral oil from your pharmacy grocery store wherever but I had this on hand so we're gonna use it so here we go Seriously, this is the best part. That's awesome. Anyway, get the gist of it. It's a beautiful thing. So, we'll get this oil on here and I'll be back when, we're, uh, when we get ready to apply the butcher block conditioner. So, man, it's looking good. Loving it. little bit of this goes a long way but first coat pretty liberal with it you know and this will soak into some spots as well so come back hit your dry spots you know so there you have it that's how I finish my uh, charcuterie boards, cutting boards, whatever, but I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of that, but you get the gist of it. I don't know if your camera's picking up on that. Picking that figure up. Like I said, oiled up with the, with the Howards. Uh, cutting board and cutting board conditioner. So, hope you guys like them. This is how I do them. Like I said, fun, easy project. Any shape, any size, any design, whatever you want to do, it's limitless on them. So, great gifts, all that good stuff. So, anyway, hope you guys uh, learned something. 
anyway, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's subscribed, liking, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. Greatly appreciated. So I'll put some still shots up at the end. I'll probably have some leather tied around the leather loops tied around here if people want to hang them on something or whatever. But you'll see that in the still shots at the end. So thanks, everybody. Hope it helped. Um, other than that, happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all y'all. So, anyway, you guys know the rules. I'm out.